Hey, what is up, YouTube? Random Ginger here, and today I'm going to be bringing you my Minecraft 7 uh, segment display. So, 7 segment display, for those of you that aren't familiar, is basically exactly what you see on like an alarm clock or a lot of digital clocks. Um, it's just called 7 segments because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 segments. Um, and, you know, you can, right now it's on 0, but you can display any numbers 0 through 9. Um, so first of all, let me just show you uh, what you can do with this one that I've made. Um, right here, these numbers mean how many uh, numbers it will go up by. So zero, if I add one, it'll go to one. Press down right there, goes to one. If I add two, it should go to three. You see it briefly goes to two there, um, and I'll explain why that is in a second. And three, should go to six. Four, five, six. There we go. So that's um, what the display looks like. And now back here, um, this is something that I sort of explained in a previous video, and I'll put that um, link in the description. But um, first of all, these three white lines right here are just running into um, the system that I talked about uh, in my other video that I just mentioned. And what that is... Um, is sort of a toggleable three clock. I don't know if you can really call it toggleable, but these buttons turn it on, and then um, after a certain amount of ticks, depending on which button you press, uh, this clock will then turn off. So um, after what right here is a seven tick delay, um, and it's seven ticks just because this clock is uh, it takes six ticks to go all the way around, um, and so that's just plus one. And then right here, this is 15, I think, and 22. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, so, oh, and this clock, I, I know I could have, um, well, actually, I'll explain to you why I need to use two repeaters. Because you, you're probably thinking, like, well, this is a two tick and a one tick. Why don't you just do one repeater with a three tick delay? Um, but because of how um, my punch card memory system works, since I'm using 10 bits of memory, instead of nine. If I were using nine, I could have just used a normal clock. Um, and if you're familiar with redstone, you might know why that is, just because of um, how the pistons work. But I needed this piston, or this row of pistons and this row to fire at the same time, um, as well as this row and that row that you can't see extend, but it extends that way down there to fire at the same time. Um, so it's like this row and this row pushes that row blocks over and this row over um, and then this one this one pushes it up so that's like one cycle and um, again depending on which button you press it'll do one two or three and you can make it do four five six seven eight however many um, but I just decided to stick with one two and three um, so uh, again you can watch my other video if you want to see exactly how this stuff works but then it goes over to a punch card memory system and if you guys want me to do a video explaining what this is, just let me know and I'll do one for you. But um, punch card memory, real quick, is um, right now you can see that all, well, right in the middle here, we have repeaters pointing into these blocks. So these repeaters are always on, they're always be sending power into this block. Um, so if the block in this row that's right in front of the repeaters transmits power, then the output on this side will be on. And you can see here that all of the outputs except for this one right here are on. And since this one runs up to those uh, lamps right there, you get a six. All of them are on except for that one. Um, so the reason that these little uh, circles here aren't all the same is because, you know, for different numbers, there's different uh, sets of lamps on and off. Um, so then I just set it so that one rotation goes up one number, you know, um, it just kind of makes logical sense. Um, so yeah, that's, um, that's basically all there is to the wiring. Um, these pistons over, or these repeaters over here, um, the reason that you can use one repeater for all three of the blocks is because the repeater, this one right here, points into this redstone lamp, which strongly powers it. That's just how it works. Oh, sickness says hello. Hello there. Okay. <laughs> um, so this uh, repeater points into this lamp, 
which when a repeater is pointing directly into a block, it strongly powers that block, which means that block is actually emitting power. So since this um, lamp has power, this lamp and this lamp also get power because this one is strongly powered, strongly being the key there. Um, there's different types of strong and weak power. Um, you can look up some uh, videos and tutorials if you want to learn more about that. Um, I'll, you know, I'll just put some links in the description of some ones that I've used. Um, just as a little bonus to watching this video. So, uh, that's all there is to the wiring of this thing, guys. Um, if there's anything you want to explain deeper or that you think I didn't explain well enough or anything like that, um, just feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to get back to you guys and either make a video of it um, if it's a big thing or explain it to you through the comments or I'll try and let you know somehow. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up, comment, um, and if you're into seeing more of this kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel. Um, it's uh, I'm trying to grow it as fast as I can. Um, there's not too many videos on it right now, but I am just uh, uploading as many as I can, so at least a few a week. Um, so just subscri subscribe if you want to see some more of this stuff. And um, with this system right here, I'm trying to expand it so that I can be a double-digit thing. Um, so be looking for that video soon. Um, and yeah, uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. And all of you have a great day.